get it started. So uh, last we left off, you had um, kind of started your escape, if you will, or you're, you haven't escaped yet, but you're still in the pit. And the you, you've, you've noticed that a few of the denizens that, that, that were living, they're not going to say the denizens, they're not really living there, they're forced there, um, have seen you guys take on some guards and have made you effectively their kind of de facto leaders to getting out of this place. Um, that or they just want to, they'd rather have you guys go first, you know, <laughs> whatever the situation is. Um, but uh, as you guys take a rest, uh, kind of gathering up supplies and, and, and setting yourselves up, ready to see about getting through the, the outer gates, um, you notice that Noravar seems to be missing. <laughs> seems to have just watered off, like you don't know where the hell he went. Um, there's people around you, there's other, there's other uh, prisoners hanging around, um, but you don't seem to have lost track of them. Lost in the fray, huh? Well, I mean, not even the fray, just more of it. Like maybe, I mean, you could ask around. You could. Uh, oh, look at this. The dog I like dogs. Um, oh, let's keep up. You like dogs? It's fine. This is Hans von Schnauzer. Hans von Schnauzer. Schnauzer. <laughs> uh, our dog's named Lotto, and we named him that because it's kind of a gambler. Every time we leave the room, he's gonna show the floor or not. <laughs> 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 uh, um, so. Uh, yeah, so you, um, yeah, but you don't see Norovar anywhere. Mm -hmm. Well, that's weird. It is weird. <laughs> it is <true. laughs> yeah, that's that. Uh, Considering we're charging into a bunch of guards, I don't think I'm too concerned. Mm -hmm. I figure he's probably somewhere, like you said, in the fray. Well, there's no fray right now. The, the guards are kind of... Oh, never mind. <laughs> kind of solidified the, weird, they kind of solidified the gates and have, like, held up their... Um, they're probably down a few numbers, but they also know there's, there, there's down quite a few uh, of the prisoners as well. Uh, most of the prisoners are kind of just scavenging, trying to grab what they can, um, whether that's tools for weapons or for even like just supplies, food. Some are trying to hoard food, it looks like. Um, but they're all trying to like uh, check their safety and such uh, right now. And much like you guys have, have kind of set yourselves um, up in uh, getting supplies together and everything like that in case a lot of you guys were kind of concerned too like what well, if we get out of here like how do we cross the desert or uh the wasteland or whatever maybe up, up top um but yeah norvar uh seems missing or he missing. we can't we can't leave without him so we need to look, ask around there, there is a lot of people around you yeah there certainly are um you can certainly ask uh, around without much issue yeah we'll have to look for him Shall or maybe he's yeah. I nudged the guy next to me. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey. So you you uh you you nudge a guy, uh Tierless, and it's it's a dwarf and um he uh he you know uh yeah, Trouncer, what, what, what can I do for you? He uh, we're, looking, you are. we're looking for our friend, the uh pal the paladin that was with us in the beginning. Have you seen him or his whereabouts. Yeah, yeah, I, I, we, we saw him, uh, I saw him walk out not too long ago. I, he looked like he was walking towards the front gates. He started walking. walking. Yeah, but he, like, he took, a, he took a second to prep. I, I, I don't know, I, I think he's, um, I think he's gonna try to sneak past the gates. Ooh. I mean, he's got that, he got one of their outfits, right? He got their armor and their shield and weapons. He, he looks like one of them, kind of. That's right. That's right. We, we might have just missed him, even. I, yeah, he might. He might be trying to go get like uh, information before you guys try to storm it. See who the numbers are. A good idea. I wonder why he didn't inform us of that decision before he just <laughs> took I, off. My, uh, I, I don't. I, that's a little surprising to me too. I, I just figured he, you know. But yeah, we all saw him kind of like put himself together and then saunter off, but. I'm guessing he might, might have to address that later with him. Yeah, I think we need to have a conversation with him when we find him. But what are we going to do now? You guys are trying to establish some sort of autonomous, demo democratically elected uh, Congress here, and he's just going rogue. Uh, <laughs> he's like, "Cool, I'll be the CIA." <laughs> <See you> later. <laughs> um, but um, 
<laughs> yeah, uh, Brugren, he he's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, I, I thought it was kind of an idea. He's a brave guy. I'll give him that. I'll be smart, but he might be able to pull it off. He really looked like one of them. Um, but right now we we've got a few um, a few of the folks have been trying to like actually break into the tower. And remind me, we gave them a choice whether some of them wanted to come with us or not. Did yeah, anybody? There, there... There's been a few that have kind of armed themselves a little bit. Like they have a few weapons here and there, like okay. those daggers, um, maybe sure. some like makeshift clubs. Um, and some of them are kind of like, there's other ones that do want to escape, but they're, they're probably not going to fight. Um, they, they definitely either don't have the capability to do it or they're, they might just be cowards. Gotcha. They, and, some of the, and some of them are going in the tower now? Well, the tower is like like caved over in the middle of the uh, yeah, pit. and it's so it's tilted over. So some look like they're trying to maybe even break into it. They think there might be treasure, or, you know, valuables in there. So we have a decision: we either try to get the hell out of Dodge, or check out what's going on in the tower. I'm down for either. My no, we still don't even know what happened, really. No, no. why it happened? I. Uh, I've just been pillaging the tower this entire time. Okay. So <laughs> you guys can come and join me. Some more. It more seems in... like there's, yeah. So you, uh, I, I right, then. The, yeah, you, you, you were, you were definitely interested in pillaging the tower. You hadn't gone to pillage the tower yet. Okay. Uh, but it is, it is viable. Do you want yeah. to pillage the tower? I think I'm never coming back to this place ever good, again. So good this point. is our opportunity to. Yeah, see I, out there. Yeah, I kind of want to see if we can figure out what mm -hmm. happened. Any info? I think that's, yeah, we yeah. might, might be able useful. to find. Yeah, absolutely. So the you would be able to like if you want to look at like the, the break point of the tower. Um, the the point from where it's still the part that's still standing is way way up top. You you wouldn't be able to like honestly climb in it is like not impossible. Not because it's hard to hold on to it, but because it's extremely hot. It's, it's solid iron in the middle of a wasteland. Uh, mm. you'll, you'll fucking die. You'll burn your hands off where you get like, you know, six. Nice. <laughs> <All right>. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, I know I, I actually, I actually got inspired for that. If you're curious, because I was, I was painting metal miniatures on a day, a spray paint on a day that was 170 degrees outside. And oh, I almost spray paint dry. It just dry. It, 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 it was just like dry. Like, okay, well, I guess that's how that works. Wow. <laughs> so, so, um, <laughs> I, uh, uh, but yeah, you, um, you could definitely inspect the break of, that has, of the parts fallen over. That part is, because it's kind of leaned like, like this. It's kind of like a T right now. Um, mm. Kind of, you know, a little wobble. It's not wobbling anymore, but it's definitely like um, on the ground. Yeah, I'd be curious to see, you know, if we could examine it to see what, like, how that happens. Because what if we go outside and that same thread is out there, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. So, it might be good That's to take smart. a look at it. Yeah. So, um, it wouldn't be hard to get over there. Uh, okay. You guys want to venture over there, South Hollow? Yeah. Hell yeah. So, okay. Yeah. You start moseying on over. Um, people are, uh, one thing they're kind of waiting for is the tower to cool off a little bit. And it has cooled a little bit because it's a little more in the shade than it was beforehand, but it's still pretty warm. Um, but you can, and, and you do kind of see people kind of like trying to find the digging tools and the like, and you do occasionally see like someone like by themselves and they like with a pickaxe trying to take it to this iron tower. Hmm. And you're kind of like, at Zogchen, you're like, that guy's, gonna, that guy's gonna be there longer than he's ever gonna live. Yeah, <laughs> seems, seems, seems kind of dumb. Yeah, but you know, maybe they're desperate. Uh, but you, you <laughs> that can't... is true as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like either do this or go face the guards, which is pretty one-sided battle. Uh, <laughs> but you do see the break. Um, and this thing is probably um, uh, 30 feet in diameter. Is that the, the saucer part you were no, talking this about? No, this would be the pillar. Oh, OK. <laughs> the, gotcha. the, the, the beam, the, the, the shaft, you're going to make me say it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's holding, it's holding it up. What was that? No, I'm sure. <laughs> Shimmer <Yeah>. that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay, so so you're saying it's 30, 30 feet in diameter. Now 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 I've also realized I just I just talked about a guy whacking it, whacking the shaft. Uh, yes, well, you did. 
So yeah. With and the, you uh, wonder why you're you haven't made money off of yeah. it. Yet. <laughs> so, yeah, I might have a die. There's definitely a, a niche market here. But you do um you you do I got I got dig jokes today, guys. Um, but uh, <laughs> the you do see the the, the break, and um you can see a pretty clear part of it, honestly. I mean, you can't see the entire thing because part of it is embedded in the ground, essentially. Mm -hmm. But you can see a pretty good portion of it. Um, is that a way in? Uh, do you want, okay, so you approach it. You go and look at it. Um, it's actually solid iron. Um, mm -hmm. One thing you thought maybe there was like a staircase or a ladder, there's nothing like that. It is solid mm -hmm. iron. Um, Well, is there anything or like that we could pillage at all? Um, it's all it's all still pretty well intact, all things considered. Um, that is this is just the bottom side. It looks like the okay. saucer, the top so of kind of the saucer, if you will. Of, like it's kind of like that kind of branches up. You know, it looks like it looks like a um, it looks like a rotating restaurant, like a space you know, kind of situation, if you will, um, but much much wider. Um, that's probably where all the stuff is. This okay. is more of just like. The is there a way to, uh, if we walk over to the saucer, is there any way to get in? Yeah, uh, you can. Yeah, it's, it's gonna take a, <laughs> you can you can sort of make a way over there. Um, but you do notice. Uh, let me pull this auction real quick for you. There. Um, I Meanwhile, I'll kind of just like be watching the perimeter to see if guards or you know if they're forming. Yeah. Or, Good idea. Kind of, yeah. yeah nice um, job. There aren't any guards out here. Actually, the whole pit now is pretty absent of guards. It looks like they all consolidated on the exit to prevent people leaving, um, but also mm -hmm. prevent security, especially after, I don't know, some of the guys got taken out. Um, they'd probably just, if they're isolated, they're not going to be. Have we captured any? No, you guys killed. We just uh, killed them. Killed we just them. killed them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, maybe we could just like. I don't know, skin them or something. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll net one next time. I'll net a cigar. Because, you know, when once you skin somebody, you can just keep them around, you know, asking for information. They're never, they're never really gone. Well, we don't, have a, we don't, re we don't have a necromancer in our party. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm not that kind of doctor, handy. but uh, that would have been handy. Damn. So, um, the, uh, but Zogchen, you do notice that the, the bottom of the, uh, you're starting, well, you do have an opportunity to kind of see the, the break point. Um, okay. If you wanted to examine and try to see about like the, how, how it's broke essentially, this, this could be an opportunity to do that. Sure, let's do that. Okay. Um, make a, um, uh, just roll, uh, roll a check with an add a plus five with an advantage. Wait, just roll plus, plus five? five? Advantage, yeah. Oh, and advantage, good, because I rolled a one. Uh, that'd be 16. 16, OK. So you start okay. looking at this thing, and, and your knowledge of like kind of mining and, and from, your, from your dwarven heritage, um, you, you can see that it definitely, uh, uh, the major part of it broke just from stressing, right, like a teetering. The other mm -hmm. part, though, that, that you can kind of see it's partially buried, it is perfectly cut iron, mm. like as perfect of a cut as you can make. Like tool, like a tool that's cut. Almost. Okay. You can't see any tool marks. I guess that's the best way to describe it. That's you mean that's where you're saying the iron itself is cut like that, or literally where the tower breaks, it looks perfect. The so the the cut is is so it looks like this. Um like uh it, it's like okay, so like it got like cut here. And okay. it looks like part over. of it was cut out initially, and then the rest of it just kind of bent over from stress, like it couldn't hold it anymore. But the cut itself is precision. But the cut itself is like perfect. Got you. All right, well, I'll let everyone know that. They're like, this is fucking weird. It is weird. This is it's weird. weird. And it's a massive piece. I mean, you're talking like yeah. three feet of iron is gone. This, this wasn't lightning that struck the tower no. or anything this, no. is, this is definitely this is something uh this was weaponized so um you give me more from the saucer and, and you can kind of see people like poking and prodding and trying to find plugs that are kind of like cooler to touch um mm -hmm. it's still pretty warm um 
and uh, it's it's big. The, the whole thing in diameter, uh, I think I said it was like uh, ninety, like maybe ninety feet in diameter. It's pretty damn big. Maybe one hundred feet mm -hmm. diameter. It's, it's pretty it's pretty wide. Um, and so you you do see people kind of um, uh, poking and prodding and trying to find if there's anything in the ground. They might even also they're also kind of digging through the rubble in the meantime, where like there's people that were buried under there or, or stuff that was buried. So I gotta like. Mm -hmm. clean my lens are quick. Um, so it's definitely kind of like uh, people are waiting to like really rush this thing, it looks like, but it is definitively warm still. They're looting. They are looting. They're ready to go. Yeah. The, Do the window ready. shopping. Let's go. So, um, okay. Uh, so, do you, what do you guys want to like? What do you guys want to do then? Try to get in. Try to get in. Okay. Please. All right. Yeah. You go up to the you go up to one of the, the, the saucers down. Um, you start kind of looking at it, and it doesn't look like there's any real um, uh, openings that you can like easily see until, unless you actually go up and really start like trying to inspect it. And like, I mean, you're gonna have to like really go to town with it, uh, some sort of interaction with it. Um, do you want to make an investigation check? Sure. Or does anyone else want to? Uh, sure. I'll do it. It's okay. like a sun with the morning star. You're just kind of beating on it. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, Zogchen, yeah, make a make an investigation check with advantage. And actually, I'm uh, oh, plus five. Oh, plus five? Yeah, because it's it's it's. Um, I'm giving you bonuses because it's, it's iron work. Oh, okay. Then uh, an unnatural twenty. Unnatural. So you start kind of like, what's up? Can I go over and help? Yeah, yeah, sure. Check it out too. Well. So you start helping them out. Um, you start kind of like taking, like you're looking at it and it's very smooth. If there is gaps in this, you're not able to see them. But you start doing, start taking kind of dirt and throwing it at it and try to see if anything kind of sticks and like makes like uh, patterns in it. Um, after a little bit of time, you do find what looks to be a plate. Like a, not, not like a dinner plate, but like a plate. The gotcha. Okay. All right. That, All right. that was my confusion. <laughs> yeah, it's Where are we going with this, John? <laughs> I, I, dude, I described it as a saucer, okay? That's really. <laughs> <laughs> Going to come upon the teacup of I, 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 uh, yeah. restaurant saucer. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So there's, so there seems to be some sort of. I feel very of triggered plate. right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, okay. That was, that was, that was my bad. I'm my sorry. character puts on his mask though. It makes you feel better. Thank you. Thanks. He's being socially responsible. Thank you. Um, uh, all right. So, this plate, have I seen anything like it before? Um, not like this. And, and as you mm. keep on looking at the metal, once again, it seems grown. Uh, that's the only way to describe it. It reminds you kind of like of like uh, when you stick a magma flow and it kind of like harden and like perfect, like really, like really nice shape and stuff like that. It actually, yeah. it actually looks more like um, the shape it takes on and the patterns it takes on looks more like glass work than iron work. Interesting. And it, is it's it hot? Weird. What's that? Is it hot? Like um, it's still warm from the sun beating on it, but it's not. It's not getting hotter. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Can we touch it? Yeah, you can touch it. Yeah. Um, you go and touch it. Um, your hand. It hurts your hand a little bit when you touch it. Like it's, it's definitely hot. Like, um, it's it's. In the realm of climbing, it would be foolish, unless you unless you properly protect yourself somehow substantially. Okay. In, yeah, it, we could em empty uh, empty some water skins on it to cool it off, but or you probably need some type of cloth, right? Like, yeah. Mm, I can use my hoofs. <laughs> probably get <have> some. Uh... <laughs> mm. uh... Yeah, so as far as the plate, it, it looks like you're guessing it's got some sort of, um, you don't see any way to like any handle or anything like that, like there's no like hatch, but it looks like it, it probably opens up from like the inside for sure. But as far as this side being kind of a, kind of a, a, a job to do. Um, Try it open either. There's no like. What do I think about that? You got a crowbar? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Jam that uh, trident in there. <laughs> Sorry, uh, is it, uh, what's up? Oh, I was gonna say, is it like seamless or does it have? It, it does have steam, but they're very subtle. Okay. Um, it takes, it, most of you guys can't spot it until Zogchen either kind of points it out by like kind of rubbing dirt into it. Um, 
Now, uh, sorry, sorry, you you might you do have proficiency in thieves tools. Um, if you're able to like procure items that like would account for that as a base thing, but not picks, but like necessarily like little um, shunts and shivs and everything like that, you might be able to like try like uh, rig it open if you want to try to find stuff like that around. Okay. Okay. Um, give me a um, yeah. Give me give me a perception check, uh, real quick. Uh, for Saria and see if you can find the stuff real quick. That is a uh, 10. 10, okay. So you're not really sure where to find them. Um, you definitely could go look around for them a little more. So just the immediate surroundings are not there. Um, but you definitely could try to like uh, gather the stuff up, if you will. Okay. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go like, you said there were some bodies? There are bodies in the around. Rubble. Okay, I'm just going to go, like, check bodies for things, because, you know, prisoners, we keep things, places. Right. So. Right. I, 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 just, I have a bunch bodies. of shivs. Remember oh, from yeah! I, I have all these shivs from last week. Would any of these shivs be useful to me? Um, they, would, they would help out a little bit. Yeah, you need some finer tools than the shivs, though. You need, like, like, like hairpin type situation. You need, like, tiny things. Okay, I'm going to go check bodies. And... All right. Um, so you start, uh, so you, you wander off a little bit and kind of like start looking through the rubble a farther away from it. People are kind of gathered around looking at this thing. Um, it's kind of contemplating, but they're still going through the rubble. Um, Does anybody have their hair up that I can see? Uh, not with like hair pins. They're not like common around here. I was, yeah, I was wondering where you were no, going make, with that, but that makes make, sense. Yeah. Makeshift hair pins? I don't know. Um, but, uh... Jackals, or could we, I mean, how long would it take us to, to try to create something, you know, flatten something, beat the, beat the shit out of some metal to make it a small piece for her? Uh, Morbarn, you, you're standing there kind of like watching everyone kind of, kind of mess this stuff, and um, you, they all kind of walk off and, and start looking around, doing stuff like that. Uh, you, you're kind of sitting there and like just taking the sights in, taking in this, this, Thing you want to see topple for a while and getting toppled not by your actions. And um, as you kind of look over, you're kind of looking at it like from the, taking the whole picture in, you, you see something kind of like, like float into frame and like goes and floats right behind the, um, the saucer part. So you're looking at it and you're kind of looking at this like saucer like this and something kind of floats uh, over here into behind it. And it's pretty sizable, maybe the size of a basketball. Mm. Mm. Well, obviously, I'm courageous as hell, and so I'm going to just uh, head okay. towards that okay. cautiously. Okay. Uh, because I've got the majority of you guys already looking for ways to break this thing open, but this might be a key into I like it. another entrance. All right. So, uh, and then let me get Tira this. What are you doing, buddy? Uh, I will follow more barn just to okay. sort of make sure she's not in danger, you know, or just yeah. actually, he, he. actually, yeah. Since I don't Barn, know anything Barn, about is a masculine name. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, yeah. So you, you do, uh, you do see, uh, so more barn starts kind of wandering off. You start following more barn a little bit. Um, uh, Sara, you're, you're looking through and trying to find uh, like uh, pieces you can kind of cobble together. These tools kit. Um, Zog Chen, what are you doing? Uh, all right, so we investigated, we found the plate, we're looking around, uh, more barn and the trounce are here, they're all of a sudden walking off. Um, because we saw this thing, this inexplicable well, are you, are you telling us that you saw something? floating thing. I think that's a that's an important thing to understand because uh, I, I agree, but I mean, did you did you tell my character this? You're like, I oh, didn't, shit, I should, <laughs> you just walked off. <laughs> Like, because, I'm not just going to start stalking you. Like, oh, shit, I think, left. Yeah, I think I realized, uh, yeah, so okay, that's right. what I'm doing. Uh, All right, I'll, I'll go after the basketball as well. All right. Let's um, do it. Uh, sorry, make, a, make another investigation check. Twenty. Twenty, okay. You do manage to cobble together a thieves tools kit. Um, okay. So you think this could help you get in, get into it, uh, but you manage to cobble it. It is makeshift. It does, it 
you're unclear on how sturdy of a kit it will be. That is like, there's a good chance if you do, you might get one use out of it, maybe two if you get lucky. Okay. Um, before, before basically the parts fall apart. Um, it's, it's Skyrim guys with the, 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 the hairpins is great. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like, what's, what's the economics of hairpins in that, in that lockpicks in that, in that world? Like there's everywhere, you know? Um, did like a did like a cargo plane full of them just explode over the valley? <laughs> um, so, anyways, you um, you you kind of uh, uh you, you you as you're you're cobbling this together, you see them wandering off, all moving. More barn, you start walking over um, as, after telling your friends that you, that you saw like a floating orb of some sort, um, and you come to the you're coming up to the edge of the saucer. It's kind of it's, it's very large uh, circle object, and the thing's buried maybe about like. 15% in the ground, 50% of it is in the ground. Um, and you start coming up, coming up around it. Um, what do you want to do? How do you want to approach this, this corner where you saw this thing go around? Um, well, I'm going to see how close, it, I mean, is it hot? Just like the entire. Yeah. I mean, the, the saucer hot. Still, it's still hot. It's not going to like being close to, it's not going to burn you, but, it, but they try to climb it. It's going to be very uncomfortable. Gotcha. I'm gonna. I think what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna walk around the as far around it as I can, right. just to kind of survey every every aspect of it and kind of investigate. Like you take a, a wide berth around it. That's, that's yeah. Good. So you kind yeah, of back off. I, and you kind of walk around it and kind of look casual. Start looking casually over there. And um, you uh, you're you're kind of looking over there. And trying to find something and uh, make a make a perception check for me if you could on your uh, skill skill there. Mm -hmm. uh, five. Five. Okay. Yeah, you start looking at it and you're not seeing anything. Uh, you don't. Mm -hmm. You don't. Ca nothing catches your eye. It looks like the bottom of the saucer. Honestly, um, you don't see anything. Um, Zog Chan and Tearless. You guys see like Morbarn kind of taking a wide berth around, kind of looking at it. Um, it's kind of hard to see a little bit of glare. Well, what about you two? Um, I'll, I'm going to scan the sky to see, like, if I can spot what it was that she saw. Right. More Make more. a perception check. Okay. Ten. Ten. Um, you start looking at the sky, and it is weird not seeing the tower in the sky. That is the one weird thing. Um, it's kind of a slight. Um, the the pit looks like it was a little warmer than it was. Like the sun's like coming down a little more now. Um, you don't have the shade of this thing, but that's about about it. Um, Dog Chen, nice this landscape without it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to be um, not so much the sky, uh, but yeah, I'd probably be kind of looking around the same area. You know. More barn is telling me that they saw something floating by. So I'll, I'll just be kind of scanning just the general landscape, not necessarily uh, up, but just make, make a perception check. Yeah, what was that uh, thing that I saw? That'd be twelve. You take a look over there, and um, yeah, you're not you're not seeing anything out of order. It looks like the bottom of the, of the saucer. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, nothing's nothing's catching your guys' eye. But you, guys, I guys, I don't I don't see anything floating anymore. Be more barn. Uh, your imagination is taking the best of you, and it's the heat getting to you. I don't know. <laughs> well, that's it's what I thought. Dust particles that got in your eye. It's all floating. It, it, uh, when well, she describes it, is it anything similar to what I saw glimmering, like while I was fighting? Does it, you know? Uh, you what you saw more barn wasn't glimmering. It, and as far as you can tell, it was it was hard to see because like it was definitely all it was was kind of like a like. Uh, a dark sphere kind of moving uh, over the, the land, maybe about like um, 10 feet off the ground. Okay. Hmm. Could it? Hmm. Is there anything different on this side of the saucer? Um, the, top the, much, side? The, the top of it is much flatter, where the, where the bottom of it kind of has these kind of like um, uh, arches to kind of go out. Um, okay. and, you're not, and you're not sure if they're there for support or just look good. Um, honestly, because it's made of iron, you're pretty sure that it doesn't need that for support, but it does look nice. Okay. Um, decorative. It is decorative, yeah. And the, the panel you found was on the top. 
Um, and your your best guess is like either like a, a skylight or something like that, mm. uh, or knowing that like this lich runs at your other best guess is for experiments, like very you know Victor Frankenstein having the open. So you know. so just as a as a recap, we have this very important tower. It's fallen. It got struck by something that made a precision cut into it. Which made it topple over. And, uh, it wasn't just struck. It was ex uh, as Tyrolus described. It was going. It was ongoing. It wasn't just like hit it once and that was it. It was gotcha. Just, it was like, yeah. Carving it, yeah. Um, and there was no way into this thing, top or bottom. As far as you know, yeah. From what you understand, they were largely teleporting in and out. Got you. All right. Well, I mean. Metagaming, I would say that there's something important here. Uh, but as a character, I think uh, I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to move on. <laughs> it's uh, like, okay, this is cool. This is interesting. More, more you're, you are, you're like, you, you're not crazy. You knew you saw something. Um, do you right. Want to try to, I... um, I'll let you uh, try to convince, if you want to try to convince uh, Tearless or Zogchen that you saw something. Or you could even try to intimidate them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like just having the trust in me that I saw this thing because um, none of us really know what this saucer is and what it's capable of. And so, you know, questioning whether or not something actually was there or not seems foolish at this point in the game. Um, I think that right now I am committed to finding, before I leave, finding another clue or another um, way to identify what that was. And maybe it's, maybe I have to dig around the saucer since it's buried. Oh. Maybe there's some clue there. Um, sorry, so you, you kind of see them out in the distance, kind of like talking about something, um, and they're all kind of looking over at the saucer for some reason. You, you've cobbled together your kit. Uh, what do you want to do? Um, well, I have a kit. I don't really want to tinker with the door until I have them with me, so I'll walk over there, but I want to prepare a lecture in my head while I'm walking over of like why we need to communicate and not just walk off <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you, you, you and I'm going to save for later to tell Noravar as you, well you, you <laughs> yeah, you, yeah you, you give a nice little um, nice little workshop on the benefits of teamwork yeah and, so, uh, but I'll walk over and okay. join them never had friends before or allies so uh, <laughs> he's got the answer guys in the middle of your lecture I just walk off yeah. <laughs> nice. That, that, that's brutal. So, um, uh, but so believable. Walk? So, uh, <laughs> where, are you, where are you walking off, Zogchen? Oh, not far. Oh, okay, not far. You just gotta walk off and <laughs> just, ponder. Just to show my disinterest. I, I want to so. ask what is going on, too. Like, what? Okay. More barn, you want to explain? Absolutely. It's nice to see you, Saria. Let's, uh, let's regroup. So, Basically, as I'm staring at this saucer, I notice this object fly behind it. Um, I have no idea what it is. I have not seen it. Uh, I'm looking for it. And I wonder if, it's, if it could be in something inside of the saucer and we just need to figure out a way inside. Do you have anything that could somehow assist with that? Well, I have some thieves tools, makeshift thieves tools that I was planning on using at that on that plate we found earlier. But then you all fucked off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything well, around this area that? There doesn't seem to be. It, no. it was there. It seems to be pretty. Uh, Wait. Yeah. So, what did this thing look? This floating thing look like? Your, your best guess, Warborn, is it, it didn't have a shimmer to it, but it, it, it was definitely um, uh, different colored than everything around you, than everything else, like the whether the stone or anything like that. It was a little brighter, maybe like a, maybe like a, a greenish color, at best being a bluish color, um, but maybe like a sphere uh, about, uh, maybe about two feet in diameter. 
it appeared to be almost like a surveillance uh, item thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if drone is the proper yeah, I don't know. place for the, <laughs> for the, for the, for the I realm. Know. Exactly. It was like a predator um, drone. <laughs> um, and you yeah. sure you saw it? You sure? I'm, okay. I'm like 80% sure that I saw it. <laughs> I, I think that... Be a little thirsty? Like, I'm surprised I didn't see anything. Alluc- I mean, I, I thought... Hallucinating? I thought I was, like, no, but I thought by seeing it and then going over to where it was, I'd see something. But I didn't. So maybe we just go back to the plate <laughs> and see if there's a way in. Um, yeah, I, maybe it's in there. I don't know. All right. So, you, uh, do you want to head back to the plate? Yeah, you sure. head back to the plate. Uh, sorry. So you have these, you have these kind of sets of like, like shivs, uh, not shivs, like uh, shunts and and, and uh, kind shants. of shants and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, whatever you got, uh, shunts and all that. So you can, you think you can kind of get them in there? Uh, make a um, this is a thieves' tool check. So basically, it's going to be uh, get, roll a d twenty, add five to it. Okay. Um, can I do that on the... Yeah, indeed, to be on the lower left-hand corner, there should be a little, like, dice icon. If you just click that. And then click the D20 at the top, it should, in this top roll. Oh, wait, I don't want to roll four of them. <laughs> you, just, you just have to roll them and then start a new one. Okay. And then click roll. Yeah. Okay. Five, that's 12. 12, okay. So you go up and you start putting these pieces in there um, and you kind of line them all up and your your main problem you're realizing is that you need to apply equal pressure to all of them. And this thing's pretty big, it's a pretty big panel um, simultaneously in order for it to pop out. So you don't manage to pop it out, but you do manage to set up to pop out. So if you, if you wanted to have your uh, team uh, coordinate engage in teamwork to push it all out, you might be able to get it out. All right. Let's do that. Um, let, me guys, get every- uh, let me have everybody. Have an- Sorry, what's up? Do we have enough? Like, can I give them each like something to use to it's do more this? The, 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 the more that you have all the, these shunts in the, um, in the, in the panel. Oh, so right. I've already. Put- it's more oh, okay. the, the issue is that like you you yourself can't push on all of them simultaneously. Don't have enough hands. You don't Got have enough hands. Thank you. Yeah. Um, or hooves. Yeah. Hooves. Sorry. Hooves. But you yeah. think if you if you tell them all to like push on it simultaneously on like, these different corners all at the same time, it might be able to pop out easily because it looks like it has to come out straight. It can't come okay. out at any kind of angle. Um. So what I'll let you do is I'll have everybody make a dexterity check. Me too. You too. Actually, you okay. you can do it with advantage because you it's your job. All right. That's a twenty. Very nice. Ooh. That's a seven. I'm gonna roll a real die. And more barn. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. All right. So all of you managed to push on it pretty evenly. Zarchin just he goes on two instead of three, uh, and so. And, uh, but you, you do manage to actually uh, get it to kind of like pull out a little bit. It, it makes a lot of noise though. Like you pull it, it doesn't make a lot of noise, but so, it does come out. What's up? While this is all happening, what's going on outside of just what, like, are, are people noticing? Yeah, people are noticing you guys and some jacking people are, this ride. There, yeah. There's people kind of like, they were going through the gear, but they started watching you guys do, hit this panel. Like, holy shit, they didn't know that was yeah. there. And yeah. there's maybe like five or six of them. Um, and they're kind of like watching you, kind of like just like scratching, you know, scratching their heads, like how did they figure this out? Um, but no guards yet. There's no guards out here, no. And they're definitely, they definitely don't look like they're worried about guards. There's like one or two people giving a lookout, kind of, you know, keep an eye out, but no one's like coming out. And also the guards were coming, you know the direction they were, the, where they're, they're stationed. And you'd actually mm-hmm. go spot them pretty easy coming at you, unless like they really, really try to like, like hide. Gotcha. And they're also wearing like you also know they're wearing heavy armor. They would be pretty loud. Gotcha. So they they well, do got, they, they do have that against them. Um, but okay. the panel pops out, and as it pops out, you feel um, 
like uh, a very strong burst of cold air come out at all of you simultaneously. Ooh. So I look like uh, Nicolas Cage in uh, Con Air? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. If that helps you understand, sure. Uh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, you do, um, uh, it does It does come out and you guys get a blast of cold air and whatever's inside, it's much cooler inside than it is on the outside. Like much cooler and even more than the ambient air is. Story of my can life. We, can we... <laughs> Can we see inside? Um, you can. You, you, your dark vision kind of adjusts. You can see inside. Um, you can see that there's like a like the whole thing's at an angle. So like the floor is kind of like like this now. Yeah, yeah. Um, or kind of like this. But you can see there's like a jumble of stuff on the ground. Um, you can see there's like door there's like doorways into this room. The room's pretty good size. It's it's probably about thirty feet by thirty feet. Good, I can fit in it. You you could yeah, Terrell, you could you can squeeze through this this. Um, uh, gate in there. It's not gonna be fun. Mm. It's just so you know, centaur suck at climbing. Yeah. Before uh, we I, go in, do I happen to see another one of those orbs go by? Uh, so, you, so Marmar, you take a second and you kind of give it a glance around. Uh, make a perception check. Because I, I'm pretty hung up on that. I'm not gonna lie. Five. Five. <laughs> um, so, you're, you're, so you're, you're looking at it and you're like, you don't see the thing at all. All right. All right Can I just go in? Let's move. Right, I'll go in. Okay, Zogchen climbs on in. Um, no problem. Followed by who? I'll go in. All right, Saria. And then Morbarn goes in next. And then yep. uh, Tiro squeezes yeah. through. So you guys kind of get this through. Uh, Zogchen, as soon as you get through, like, you're standing like broken glass and everything like that. Um, okay. there's, there's, like, there's a lot of broken crap in here. Um, you're, you're not sure what a lot of this stuff was, uh, but it definitely looked like it was valuable. There's like broken table, glassware, um, wow. stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. Is I mean, it, it's just one room, right? That's yeah. It. But then there's, there's like, there's like a doorway up along uh the walls the edges here you think you could probably climb through if you wanted to okay yeah i'll do some monkey shit okay all right not like monkey as like like monk monkey you know <laughs> do some weird kind of flips and stuff okay like that. i did not catch that yeah I, I, it thank came you out for I clarifying like, i was that like sounds that sounds, so sounds fun <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. i'm doing like weird kinds of sidekicks and spider climb yeah and american ninja <laughs> warrior stuff <laughs> all right um Floor is lava. Ooh, ooh. That's right. <laughs> um, well, I, I'm not wearing shoes, so it kind of is. If it's all glass. Oh, you have boots. True. I do. Oh, you have boots. Oh, that's right. I do have boots. You got oh, all right. Yeah, so I jacked some some boots. So yeah, you you go ahead and uh, make a um, athletics check. Try to climb up on here. Cool. Oh, that's a natural twenty. All right. So you you go up and you see him like. Stuff. You see him do the American Ninja shit, jump like kind of excited. Oh yeah! Ball, oh yeah! And he climbs up, and you get up through this gap, no problem. Um, and uh, you uh, you kind of you kind of are you kind of perch on the gap before you drop down the next room. And yeah, I want to see what I'm going into first, um, right? You're you're looking at what looks. You can see what looks to have been at one point like um, a uh, a bed that's like kind of hit the side of this thing. It's like just all shredded. You can see the mattress still and stuff like that. You can see a dress, gotcha. you can see the old broken dresser. Um, uh -huh. Stuff like that. The door is all like lopsided open too. Like you can, you could probably stand on the door if you wanted to. Um, okay. It's all pretty, pretty busted. Um, you do get a glint in your eye though of what looks to be some uh, valuables in the corner though. Like you can see like there's a few coined pieces of coins or something like that or um, okay. valuable metals in the corner, but like it's all, like I said, the whole thing fell over, so it's all just like shoved into the, you know, corners. All right, like I'll that. go. I'll go investigate it. Okay, um, you go over, and you start digging through it, and you find like a series of actually fairly um nice uh, like high quality robe, like linen robes, um, mm -hmm. and amongst them also you find and, and like broken uh, furniture, but you do manage to find um make an investigation check. And I'll give you a number. Let me check on my investigation. Sorry, guys. Uh, 
correct. Uh, that's a mighty four. Okay. Uh, you manage to find a total of um, nothing. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you find, you find uh, a total of forty-four silver pieces. Okay, I spread it around. So yeah, so you you yeah, so everyone wants to get eleven, they can get eleven silver pieces. But um, the uh, you you do manage to find some coinage um, through it all, uh, and it it this seems like a kind of like a um, kind of a half-ass like uh, bedroom too, like. I don't know. Some seal. You feel like this guy, uh, Jarzak, he would be living better than this. this like, it's, it seems nice and what you what you've been living in, but like, it doesn't seem like the master bedroom. It's like a slave oh, quarter. We don't say that anymore. Primary bedroom. <laughs> yeah, air conditioned primary bedroom. Okay. Primary bedroom. Primary okay. bedroom. Primary bedroom. Okay. I just got. I got a lot. Right now, we have a lot of students. Uh, they're like looking for housing and they're asking for that specifically. So we'll say that. Well, no, but it's interesting, but I never like connected the, yeah. the dots. dots on that until recently. So yeah. yeah. I can anyway. see the heritage of it. I, I can see the issue with it. Yeah. I can see I have, it. I, I have no like, anyway, I was. You know what I think is a bigger issue? Real estate agents actually selling houses to black people. I think yeah. that, that, yeah. would be a, that would be a bigger correction, but it's what, that. It is what it is. Yeah, but but primary bedroom that's fine. No, All right, so this playing. is secondary bedroom. I know, I know. It's a it's a bedroom. <laughs> Sorry, I don't I don't know if this is like a huge D and D faux pas. Like, don't get out of the game, man. No, no, that's fine. It's fine. That's good. Okay. It's, Not I mean, at all. It's hard. It's hard to stay on topic, man. Like, you got you got you got to talk about whatever you can. We can, we can edit dude. this out. It's therapy, we'll guys. <laughs> so um, uh, yeah, but yeah, you do you do see that this is definitely a guest bedroom of some sort. Uh, you're you're guessing that um, uh. Yeah, it's not the primary quarters. And the, your your best guess too on this tower is that the, 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 the saucer for the tower is about three stories down. It's pretty damn big. Okay. So we've gone into some kind of dining room or whatever. And then there was a bedroom of sorts that didn't seem to be that grand. Yeah. Right? More, so you, you notice that like in the room you guys came into you're looking at some of the glassware and stuff like that. And some of it reminds you actually of your, um, of like the, the kind of uh, glassware you would use to mix pigments, but much more elaborate. Mm. I recognize So more like this. a lab. Yeah. Or studio than, uh, okay. Mm. Interesting. I mean, those, for some of us, maybe a dining room and a, and a lab and studio is the same thing, but you know, whatever. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's very true. Very true. <laughs> I've probably eaten more meals in front of my computer than I care to, I care to admit. But, um, <laughs> That's a fact. Okay. So, uh, but yeah, more about it. trying to put it together. This is, this is like a lab or a uh, studio of some sort, like, and the glassware you're looking at, like when you were practicing your uh, painting generation and stuff like that, and you know making it paint paints and pigments, um, you you would have like done awful things to get your hands on on gear this quality. It's now smashed, mm. like glassware this quality. Wow. Yeah. I, it's like comparing. I, like, I've, been, I've been watching Breaking Bad. It's like comparing the RB to the Super Lab. Like gotcha. <laughs> like like the quality of gear. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen glassware like this in about a hundred years. This is like quality material. And it's a shame that it's all broken. Ooh. There's one piece that didn't break. Okay. Grab. You you do manage to find a rather nice uh one jar that did not break that's actually in pristine shape. Awesome. So you have a very fine jar. You have you have a you have a, a master crafted mason jar. Nice. Awesome. Is there any residue in any of this glass stuff? Um, you you can tell that there's a little bit of liquid that's like consolidated in the corner. Mm. Um, it uh, it doesn't smell the best. It doesn't smell awful. But it doesn't smell the best. Um, can we can we sense if if this is magical in origin as opposed to something technological? Is it like uh, a, a kind of check? 
Mm-hmm. Or, or, yeah, um, kind of what was in the glass. Yeah, you, you can make. Uh, I'll let you make an Arcana check there, Zogchan. Sure. It's an eleven. Eleven. You're not sure. You just know it's good quality. Yeah. Anybody else want to take a shot at it, Arcana? I'll do it. All right, go for it. Uh, 15. 15, okay. Yeah, um, uh, Sara, you know from like uh, remembering uh, the elven, living with the elves and stuff like that, this is probably some sort of alchemical uh, rig at one point. Like an alchemist lab rig. rig. It's, it's obviously ruined now. And whatever is in the corner is like runoff now at, at best. Probably not anything you want to touch. Yeah, guys, don't touch it. <laughs> Stay away from that putrid liquid. What's up? Oh, sorry, I can't. I can't hear you, Michael. Okay, hear me. Putrid liquid. <laughs> I don't know if I put these headphones back on. My head was hurting. Anyways, yeah. All right. Would so. there be any, like, any documents or anything around that would help um, us? There, there are some amongst the glassware and stuff like that. You do, and, and the broken furniture. You do see like a few books here and there. Kind of curious as to what they're doing. Okay. Why is um, in yeah. the middle of a labor camp. <laughs> is there anyone in the tower? Like there has. No, you don't see any bodies. No bodies. No bodies. No bodies. Mm-hmm. You probably teleported out as it was just falling falling apart yeah are there any other ruins besides the two that we've been yeah, in? yeah no there, there certainly is the 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 bedroom you're in has another door going out and there actually was another door uh, across the way in the lab all right can, can we check those out too yeah sure so that the other door the door of the lab on the other one from the lab is is still shut you'd have to go and try to climb up and like open it real quick i'll do that all right go for it. make an athletics check It's a seven. seven. You, when you start climbing up, and you can't quite, you can get up there, but you can't quite get a hold on the, um, on the, the knob. Oh God, that sounds awful. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I was, I wasn't gonna make a thing out of it, but yeah, you said it. All right. <laughs> um, this thing's just full of shafts and knobs. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess I'll go to the one that I can get to. Okay. Are you go back to the. You, it wasn't that you couldn't get to it. It's just the first try was kind of rough. Um, can I try make again? Another, make another uh, athletics check, yeah. <laughs> oh, worse. I got a nine. nine. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> Anyone want to give me a boost? <laughs> so you you go up and you um uh, you kind of start like rigging it and like you 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 go and you go and turn the knob and you pull on it and all of a sudden like you swing down a little bit and kind of fall. Um, you take uh, two points of damage from falling into the glassware. Not too bad. Sorry, hold on one second. All right, I got two points of damage. That's it. You know um, what? You, I'm gonna I, wait. So, did I get up or do I gotta try again? You you got up there. Uh, you okay, got the I'm gonna open, die on this hill. That's but now you can certainly you can right. certainly <laughs> climb up there if you want to. Now. Oh, no, let's go. Yeah. Right, so you start climbing up and you get up there, and this room is uh, filled with what looks to be still sealed barrels, um, and like a few chests, even. Um, they're largely sealed. They look like they're heavily reinforced, like they actually survived the fall and such. Okay. Right? Okay. Um, and you're you're taking a look at them, and all of a sudden, like you kind of like, you also realize you're being stared at. Oh. And you see, my, uh, you see an orb. I get into my kata stance. You see, uh, well, actually, you're more of like you're not really in a stance. You're more of like climbed up onto the the door. <laughs> you're kind of well, holding like that. It's all, it's um, all it's nice. in the mind. Okay. It's in the mind. <laughs> um, and you see this orb floating in the middle of the room. Oh, shit. That's you slightly work. bluish green with okay. a large eye in the center. But yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it has. Like, uh, shit, it's the Predator drone. It's the Predator drone. <laughs> uh, I, I was going to go with the, like, the, the interrogation dro- droid from uh, Star Wars, but. Uh, oh, yeah. What I was envisioning, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I like that one. The, yeah, pro <laughs> droid, <laughs> target <laughs> droid. Yeah. So, um, but it's sitting there. It's sitting there, kind of like um, you can see it, like um, 
looking, the big eyes looking directly at you. And all, it has these other little stalks coming out of it, these four little stalks. Um, and they're kind of looking around and such like that. And it, they all suddenly they kind of like turn on you, turn to looking, looking right at you. So is this a spectator? If that's what, yeah, it's a spectator. Do you guys want to pull uh, it into uh, it for everybody? Uh, I know what it is. I've painted it a number of times. <laughs> it's a lesser beholder. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, My favorite thing to kill players with. This is awesome. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How the table I have an obsession. I, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll put a link in the. Um... There you go. It's like the guy from uh, Big Trouble in Little China. This guy right yeah. here. Mm -hmm. um, He's not as nubby, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, right, definitely picture, some that's a picture right of it. You guys want, I put a link in the chat and we'll see a picture of it. And so it has this large. So would, 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 my, would my character know what a spectator is? Uh, like what no. I know. Is this something I'm, okay? Not. So, all right, okay. But this I'm thing saying. definitely looks weird. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. It's a bunch of eyes. Um, so, um, but it's well, son it's, it's, of a bitch. Yeah, this is gonna, yeah. Like, so it's sitting there staring at you, um, and it, it's kind of uh, looking at you, and like, it's not, it's, it's not really doing anything. It's just kind of staring at you while floating there. So I'm still climbing, and this thing is just staring down at me. Yeah, you're you're like held up on like on like the door sill, like this. Gotcha. Okay. And you're yeah, looking yeah, into yeah. the room, and on the room you can see all these chests and barrels that have fallen. And you were okay. looking at those initially, and then you kind of look up, and there's this thing in the middle of the room just staring at you, kind of like, "What the hell are you doing here?" Well, I can't really do like uh, an elevator slide down. Um, how do little, how do far? Little, do a little front flip over, slide down, bank off of the freaking barrel. Parkour. <laughs> Parkour. I mean, it's the benefit of being a monk. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm I'm probably very weirded out. You are very weirded uh, out. Yeah, this is very alien to you. Yeah, mm. I, I pulled a Schwarzenegger. Dark. You know, uh, you're one ugly motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I'm feeling very validated. Or do I not know? <laughs> but we haven't seen it yet. No, you guys yeah, haven't seen it down there. Let me, you, let me say, can I, how, I mean, how, how loudly would I have to speak for them, them to hear me? Uh, not too bad. It's pretty echoey in here. I mean, you have to speak it's a normal a, no, What's uh, going like, on uh, up there? Hey, guys, I found, I found the, uh, the floating ball, and it's staring right at me. <laughs> This is like out of Ghostbusters when I find Slimer. Yeah, yeah. It's looking at me, Ray. Uh, um, yeah, is it so it's, like it's yeah. I don't know yet. Uh, we're gonna find out. Um, I'll be like, yo, it's it's up here. What should I do? You want me to throw you my trident? <laughs> Poke it. <laughs> so it can hit me with an uh, <laughs> destruction ray. Okay. Uh, well, I'm, look, I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna continue to slowly. I'm not not attacking, not rolling for initiative here, but I'm just gonna slowly start to get up, right. and I'm telling like guys, you, it's up here. You manage to like get up and balance on. You're balancing on like the wall, like the the sill yeah, door, yeah. and you're kind of standing there looking at it. Um, you're definitely bigger than it. You are you're about the same size of it. All, all things considered, okay. it's a pretty solid mass, but so are you. And it's just mm -hmm. kind of staring at you like and it's not saying anything. It's just kind of staring there. Its tongue is out, kind of like wagging around, just kind yeah. of naturally. But it's kind of. Um, I pull out a candy bar and, and wave it. <laughs> yeah. And it Some Reese's pieces. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Um, um, no, but it, it didn't. So it's sitting there staring at you, and all of a sudden, like it kind of like the, the other four eyes kind of start looking around again. Okay. And, and it slowly turns and starts looking down at the uh, the chests and the barrels. Um, all right. So I'm not going to touch any of the chests or barrels. For now. And it's it's actually like um you notice like the eyes are like darting around very quickly around these chest and barrels. And then um it's all like like your best like make an insight check with disadvantage. With disadvantage. Because it, it's very alien. I don't see shit. Don't, don't worry about shit. it. So, yeah, you're, <laughs> it's you know not, it, you it's, know it's doing something, but whatever it's doing doesn't involve you. <laughs> You're okay with that. Yeah, okay, well, that's, that, that sounds about uh, about very Zog Chen as you're going to get. He doesn't right. care about me. Uh, well, I'm somehow going to want my compatriots to come up here, uh, especially more Barn, because she was the one talking about this right. floating basketball. Um, 
More so, like, you managed to make your way up there without much problem. Like, yeah. It's kind of a climb. Um, you're not quite as agile as Zogchen really or as elegant, but you do get up there and you're kind of like, all right, what, you know, and you, you go up there and you see this floating orb um, stand there with these, with these eye stalks kind of sitting there looking around these things. You're not really sure what the hell it's doing, but it's doing something. Mm. Yeah. It seems to me that it's searching for something, that we are not its primary target at this point. So I think what we need to do is we need to figure that out and be and find it before they do. So it as you're as you're starting to figure this out, it, it all of a sudden like stops doing it kind of ceases and it turns around looking right at you and it starts to come oh, straight for your direction. But like it's not like it's not like uh you don't see like bearing its teeth or like like in an aggressive manner. Your best mm -hmm. guess is that it wants to go through the door. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I jump mm -hmm. out of the way. Which way? Do in the I mean, room into the room with the barrels or the room you guys came through? Into the room with the barrels. All right. Woo, okay. You jump in the barrels. Um make an acrobatics check real quick. Um stand by, friends. There's a plus three, so. Heard that. Nineteen. Nineteen, baby. very nice. Oh, so wait, you, you go up and you tuck and roll. Wait, is it colors. is it Hold up, hold up. Is it what I roll plus three? Yeah. Yes. All right, 22. 22. Thank you. Very nice. So yeah, you managed to tuck and roll no problem. Excellent, excellent roll. Um, uh, Zogchen, you see Morbar and kind of like go... And like <laughs> bounce out. That uh, doesn't you... look awesome, by the way. I give, I awesome. give Morbar a nod. I'm like... Solid yeah. Work. Solid work. Thank you. Wait, wait to bail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, so so more barn is in the room. Yeah, and the thing's coming uh, right at you, like it wants to go through the door. At me? Itself. Well, yeah, like you're in the doorway, and it's what's a, it looks like it's coming right for the doorway, but it's ignoring you almost. Like, all right, so again, just just meta gaming with the group here. I, I'm I'm interested in all the chests and the barrels, but I'm also and really interested in in the floating eye man. Um, now I will say, and again, I probably shouldn't shouldn't do this, but Spectators, especially just one of them, aren't exactly too tough. And especially with a bunch of us, we can invite them to the boot party. <laughs> but I don't. I don't think I want him to go. I. I, I want to kind of see. What he's doing? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be like, you know, stabbing it. But I was like, whoa, whoa. Okay. okay. All right. So you, you know, know what's trying, trying to get attention. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Try to speak right. to it. Uh, make a uh, make a make a performance check. <laughs> My charisma does not uh support that. No, it does not. No, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see what this old dwarf can do. Uh, you got a twelve. That's right. not bad. But it, as it's coming up, it's coming up and like you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And it like it stops like mid-air, like about maybe about like a foot from you. And kind of yeah. like it, its eyes kind of like opens up like it's it's intent. It has mm -hmm. a mission, but you're you're like it, it does stop for you. Okay. Um, now, and 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 tearless and tearless and, and Sara, you can now clearly see it up 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 above and Zogchen standing there, and this thing is like it's pretty grotesque. It definitely does not yeah. look natural. I'll I'll try speaking to it in. Um, I forget what languages I actually speak, to be honest with you, because I know. Uh, I mean, you can try the the common tongue if you want to. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I know. Uh, you have dwarf they, they and infernal. Usually, you have undercommon, infernal, and dwarvish. Yeah, I mean, I'll I will I'll try the common, and then I'll go into okay. the infernal because I probably think it's somehow demonic. But uh, I also know that they speak with telepathy. But okay, go ahead. So I right, try so talking it, to them. You you go and say something to it, and um, it all of a sudden like you see like it it, it, it like starts to kind of shake a little bit. You notice a very tiny shake in it. And you see its large eye roll back in its oh, head. Shit. Uh oh. And the the tongue kind of re retreats back into the mouth, and you start seeing it like the mouth starts saying like, "Only, only the cleverest could get in here." Got that right. <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. 
like what's 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 what are you doing here my friend do you need help looking for something it, it kind of it, it says <laughs> friend not a f we're not friends yet wait can you, we hear any of this yeah you hear it's talking it's actually talking okay yeah okay. It, it's not oh, talking okay. loudly it's not trying to boom you out but it's like it says you were victims of Zahash. Yes. Many years. Are you as well? <laughs> Zahash. Mm. It says to you, Zahash will be my victim. I, I like I like the cut of your jib. Yeah. Uh, and the eye I the say, eyes rolled back in the head. You can see the other yeah. stuff are kind of looking around, but like the eyes roll yeah. back in the head. You're fairly positive. It is not this thing talking to you. It's something else talking. Yeah, to you. yeah, yeah. This is yeah. Um, We're allies then. This yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, um, I say okay. Uh, who are you? <laughs> I am. I have many names. You may refer to me as your benefactor. Did you cause the tower to fall? <laughs> Gravity did that. I just enabled it. Ah. Oh. Awesome. Yeah. Um, great. Uh, where, where are you? I am around. Uh, away. I have deployed some of my agents to procure items of Jarzox to wield against Zahash in the future. You items? See, what's that? Items? Yes, you see the uh, Zahash has spent the last, the last 1200 years procuring items from all over the place, but I have since uh, they, these were largely dependent upon certain capabilities of him and his generals, which I have since disabled. I'm very, I, I am very grateful. Being a slave was not fun. Um, it is well, a, you know, being a, slavery is an abomination. And I am here I and I will tell you that as the benefactor I am not just your benefactor. I am the benefactor of this world. And I will liberate it. All right, again, so my character is not really buying this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's, he's, he's obviously trying to, uh, to placate um, the floating eyeball uh, to see what we can get out of it. Um, but I'm, I'm in no way really want to sign on to this guy. This guy sounds like a joke. Um, I don't buy the, the <laughs> you know, the slavery thing. Um, the, the woke, uh, yeah, yeah, the woke eyeball. eyeball. Now, you know. <laughs> Maybe Got hashtag BLM right above the one. Uh, yeah, the whole lives um, matter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all eyes matter. ALM, all eyes matter. So, well, yeah, all eyes matter, is, yeah. I'm happy to hear this, my friend. Um, what kind of items uh, would would we be able to find? Maybe we can work together. I have a, a whole group of very willing compatriots. Oh, I'm comrade. keeping my mason jar. Pro procuring the items, <laughs> we, will, we will not need your help, but I need to understand your interest in, in the cause. You are here to one of your friends, the one named Noravar, has been infiltrating the, and you're pretty shocked. This thing, this thing knows names. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it taken aback by it. What's that? I'm taken aback. I'm taken yeah, aback. Oh shit. Um, seems to be uh, interested in infiltrating uh, Jarzok's guard uh, to mm. enable it. Um, should you be able to sow chaos amongst their ranks, mm. enabling my agents to leave easier with the items, I would be most beneficial and perhaps a arrangement can be made for us to meet 
in the flesh. Uh, yeah, that's all cool. But what? How can you help us? Uh, right now, so such chaos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice, so Anything? Jen, negotiate <laughs> that shit. So, Morgan, yeah, right. you're in the room with these chests and these barrels, and you see Zog hiding that jar. Talking <laughs> these things. Um, it's mine, baby. <laughs> I'll be holding you a drill jar. Uh, but uh, it um, uh, as you're standing there, uh, the eye, the the eyes kind of stand there, and you suddenly like, Morbarn, you look up, you, you're kind of standing there going through it, and uh, you get this feeling like you, you've you've had the feeling before when you first saw the, the orb, but you now get the feeling again of being watched by more and more mm. eyes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I feel like I'm being watched, so my gut is telling me that I need to move. And you, you see, uh, let me see one more over here. Um, you're kind of sitting there, and you're watching. You're watching the orb. This orb talk to Zogchen, and you suddenly start seeing along, like something moving along the walls, like climbing down the walls, and. It, they kind of come over and like you can you can see that they're kind of like uh, like chameleon into the walls here, and as they come down to the floor, they start like you start seeing the barrels move and everything. And you can see the like the outline of them pretty easily as, as long as you just kind of keep on staring at them, and they suddenly kind of solidify into a similar greenish color of the orb, and they're these large kind of bipedal kind of gangly things that have large eyes in the center, and they start kind of like picking up. Uh, chests and barrels and moving them around and such. Um, and they seem to they seem to open up several of them, and have produced from these uh, weapons items. Um, and they seem to be arranging them along whatever there's what there passes for a ground in a very specific order in a very laid out order. Uh, do you want to interfere with them, or are you gonna let them just keep on? Keep I'm, on, keep I'm, I'm gonna keep seeing what they're doing. I'm just gonna keep watching them. Uh, I want what they're pulling out of those chests. I want, we need those weapons more than they do. It looks like this. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, yes. The Nothic. <laughs> what the heck? Things cool. So it's. It's this kind of gangly, almost gorilla thing with a giant eye, and it um they, they kind of go through and procure different things. Um, Morbarn, uh, yeah, and they kind of lay them out, and uh, the one that the one that you guys are talking to, uh, and these things then like they both kind of like blend back into the into the walls and start climbing up the walls into the corners and out of the room. Wow. So, but the all the items that were they took nothing of those with chests, them, and they, they even resealed the barrels. And the the one the orb you're, you're talking to is Ong Chen. And you kind of see this go on behind behind uh, the orb. It says, mm -hmm. "If these if these will help you liberate this camp, then so be it." And it's left a pretty good amount of gear for you guys. Yeah. So yeah, that works. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll do it. It's, and it, it, the, it says to you, let us build trust. Okay. <laughs> All right. Might take mean, a while. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll hail the many named one that is giving us gear. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll link up, uh, when we get out of here. It says my, it says my servant must continue the inventory of items procured. Please take so nothing fun. but what is offered. Wow. Okay. Metagaming. Yeah. Uh, more barn. You, you, you might want to watch that jar. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the just, thing. Just putting that out there. Uh, I don't You're like, can I take this? this? <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, they don't know you have it yet, right? I did sort of well, announce it pretty uh, loudly. <laughs> You're not um, getting my job. <laughs> uh, um, 
But what if, okay, so we can't take anything other than what's been laid out. It, it seems like, so what you saw though, real quick, more barn was that like the chest and the barrels are full of, of valuables, lots and lots of valuables. I mean, stuff that you could, yeah. like, you could probably take that chest or a tire. The thing though is that this thing is saying like, you, you, you get yeah. what I offered you and that's it. And it's a pretty I mean, good. That's good enough for me. I mean, I'm 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 set. I'm like, yeah, I just want to get the fuck out of here. Right. I don't yeah. want. I don't want to lug. I don't want to lug a hundred pounds of coin through the <laughs> desert. And you're not gonna be sneaking it out. No. Either. No. Not enough to quick in the desert, man. But. Yeah. So um, you guys kind of stand the all of a sudden. So then you start seeing the. It says. It says to you, "This is acceptable." And the eye returns, and the thing kind of like shakes awake, and it's looking right at Zogchen. It looks back at Morborn, and it floats. It kind of starts floating off. Uh, it wants to float past like the Zogchen. Are you gonna let it just float past you? Uh, Kill it, yeah. dude! <laughs> Kill it! It's not possessed anymore. Yeah, uh, unless it's gonna start to attack, you might wanna. Those eyes shoot out right. various beams, and uh, some cannot go so well. Yes. Especially that low level character. So, uh, so it, uh, it, it begins to kind of float in the room and it starts kind of assessing the room. Uh, Saria and Tearless, you guys get a pretty good look at this thing. And um, I don't like it. No, yeah. it doesn't feel <laughs> natural yeah. at all. I start to, yeah, I'm like walking away from it with my weapon out. So yeah, you have your, you're kind of holding your trident. You're not like threatening it, but you're kind of holding it as a security blanket. And like, it's like, um, and you're, you're, you're it's kind yeah. of like standing the stuff. Yeah. But it definitely looks like it's doing this inventory thing again. Let's grab the items and uh, our items and uh, exit. Okay. So, and what kind of gear they got? All right. So here's yeah. the deal. Uh, it's going to be quasi wish list. So, what would you guys want? Hmm. I'm going to add it to your sheet for you. I'll start with uh, who wants to go first. And the most important part of this is that Dominic gets nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I'll give him something. He got he got really good armor, guys. By the way, he got he picked up some good stuff off those guards. But uh, what what do you got? What what would you guys want? And you you can name magic items to a degree. Uh, someone uh, else can go first. I'm gonna look something up. Yeah. I mean, I'm just like pulling up from things that I know. I'd love oh. to have a battle axe, a two handed battle axe. Maybe. Okay. Um, or, right. or do I have to have? You're more dexterous. Yeah, have... you're you're much more short That's sword fighter. Say. Okay. Can I what, do? So, like so a... just just to, just to put it in perspective for you, Andrea. So like a normal battle axe for someone like Zogchen or Saria for you would be a two handed axe because you're so tiny. Copy that. So okay. You're more okay. of a dagger and short sword person. Okay. Um. I find a. Bone, like a really cool bone blade. Okay, bone sword. All right, you have Dagger. a bone. I will. I will put. I will put together a bone sword for you. Let me let me write that on my to do list. Uh, my this is my Santa list, and as Andrea was a good girl this year, so she gets a bone. Sword. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, how many items per? character um you can also get so, mundane stuff like, we... like like armor crap like that some gear okay but we'll, we'll I'll, I'll i can put together a basic kit of gear for you if you want me to um, but you get like right. one cool request uh what does tier list Damn. want? um i would like some a little bit more armor i, I suppose looking for armor and maybe some type of uh like bag of holding or so I'm gonna be, the armor thing i'm gonna be clear you're a barbarian dude oh right yeah, right one armor, yeah. Dude. yeah yeah <laughs> it's too confined AC right. goes down. <laughs> yeah. yeah um i guess i would yeah well one one item off the top of my head some type of yeah like a a bag of holding something we could right. carry things in nice um and then a saddle day. bag a saddle bag, yeah, saddle double saddlebags. Yeah, saddlebags are holding. What about uh, Saria? What would That'd you be want? sick. Do um, we just get one? You, you get one cool item, and then like you get some Monday items. So like, what okay. would be the cool item you want to get? Um, I would like, it can be sort of magic. It could be a sword, it could be a bow, it could be armor, it could be an amulet. But 
You said right. it could be magic to a certain degree, right? Correct. Okay. <laughs> Can I have a longbow that helps a like with hitting, like aim? Yeah, sure, sure. Like, yeah, you got yeah, sure, no problem. All right, magic longbow. That's, that's the easy one. Nice. And nice. then as far I think I already have some like did I pick up some leather armor? Yeah, you have leather armor on, yeah. Okay, so that's fine. That then that's all I want. Right, cool. Just... I'll, I'll I'll put together a kit for you. And then oh. uh, Zogchen. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm kind of stuck between two because as a monk, I mean it's mostly martial attacks, um, usually a staff. So I'm either looking at maybe a pair of uh, nunchucks or really considering that um, I'm kind of basing this is off of uh, 36 chambers. I guess it would be a uh, three section, uh, three section oh, yeah. staff would probably be the most apt. So th um, those are those are very specific. But those are a little too obscure weapons to find here. But what mm. I could offer you is a magic belt. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, uh, fair enough. What's the I was magic say belt do for? I was going to say, uh, Zogchen, oh. something long range too, you know, because monks are always like close combat. If you get something that allows you to attack from afar, that's might be true. nice. That's true. Maybe maybe a, a bow wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, throwing daggers, stuff like that. I mean, that would be a problem. All right. So I uh, cross. You, what's, you the can... what's the magic belt do? What's I, the magic uh, yeah, belt? I'll figure out what the magic belt I'll figure out Okay. Okay. It may be a reskin like cloak protector or something. So. Okay. All right. I, you but do, just know, it's, at some point in this campaign, I will be getting a three-section staff. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, yeah, I was, I was going to give you something that was more defensive because you you don't have a high AC. So. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. So. Magical girdle. <laughs> hey, don't, don't ever no, dude, Magic girls are fucking dope. Yeah. yeah. I, want, I, want that, I want that cod piece. Uh, I'm <laughs> yeah. going full, full black metal here. Blackie Lawless. Yeah, little spikes and stuff. Girdles yeah, are I want a, I want a, I want a <laughs> circular saw. My, my favorite, piece. one of my favorite magic items ever was like in the second edition. There was a one some obscure book, and it was a magical crib, and it basically had like uh, things you would load in. So you could load in basically baby formula and then diapers in one of it, and it would automatically take care of a child for you. Wow! What? Nice. Yeah. That's you have awesome. to load it full of dairy form, uh, milk, and freaking. Um, Diapers and it just takes care of child for you automatically. Oh my just god! Just daycare, basically. Second, <laughs> yeah. I know. Uh, second edition AD and D also had like a TARDIS style tent. Yeah, there's some yeah, weird that, stuff. It's yeah, they, weird they really. There was just so much like for it. And then Five E was like, "Look, you can make the weapon whatever you want. Let's yeah. just say it works like a sword. <laughs> make it easy for everybody." <laughs> yeah, exactly. Which is the smartest uh, thing they did. <laughs> okay, so you. <laughs> You, you've given these items and they kind of told you to like leave this place alone, that they're they're taking inventory and that uh, they have a means to get this stuff. They're, they're looking, they have kind of a means to get this stuff out of here, but it would be easier if you guys got rid of the guards. But they definitely weren't like, go get rid of the guards and we'll help you out. Whatever this thing is, it seems to like understand that you need aid to do this. And it has certainly given yeah. you a little bit here too. Yeah. I'm gonna throw some potions and everything here too, so don't worry about that. Too. Oh yeah, excellent. I mean, look, we were we were planning on mowing through the guards anyway to get the hell yeah. out of here. Um, sure, buddy. Yeah, we'll take care. <laughs> oh yeah, too. win win. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, I'll be honest. He really left the bargain up for interpretation. I mean, we'll we'll yeah. sow some chaos. <laughs> yeah. There were there were no criteria attached. That was. <laughs> His failing. Just get a lawyer. I didn't um, sign anything. I didn't sign. I didn't anything. sign yeah. a verbal agreement. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, at least, at least that's what I thought was the plan for the party. I don't mean to speak for everybody, but I know my mission was to get the hell out of here eventually. Yeah. Yeah. So sure. At yeah, some we'll point. Some guards. Yeah, we're gonna have to. The collective, the royal, we. <laughs> yeah. We got this. All right. So you guys kind of you guys kind of grab the stuff and like haul it out with your bag of holding that you have now. Um, nice. Tearless, you you are getting a little claustrophobic in here. It is a little hard to kind of move around. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. For you, but you uh, do manage to escape. As you come out, there's this crowd gathered around you, um, 
and people were kind of like, what the hell, what's going on in there? Like they couldn't quite see what's going on, but they're like, what the hell, what, what's going on in there? Is there, is there stuff in there? Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm, I was going to say, we should probably just tell them to stay away. As soon yeah. as we come out with all this swag. We're, we're, <laughs> well, if you have the bag of holes, you can try to steal no, it. That's right, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. All uh, dripped out. <laughs> Ain't nothing in there. But, uh, okay, so you guys come out and, do, okay, I want, who's going to tell them there's nothing in there? <laughs> want to go in there. I mean, I'll intimidate to them. All right. You know, there's nothing in there. Is there go. a way to, can we reseal the hatch? Like. Yeah, you could, yeah. Um, so, Tiros, why don't you make uh, uh, an intimidation check? Okay. So I get a plus two. Seven. <laughs> Seven. Okay. So you, you kind of like, oh, I do know that. And everyone's kind of like, dude, no, there's stuff in there. Like, we're, we'll die without it. Um, uh, sorry, make a, make a, uh, just roll a d20 and add 20 to it and see, or add five to it, so you're not 20 to it. I'd say, damn. <laughs> yeah. What's the check, my man? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, a, it's one of those epic ones from 3.5 where, like, they have the, yeah, right. the, the DCs for, like, you know, what it would take for a swim check to swim up a waterfall. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, 14. Uh, 14. 14. Okay. So you managed to actually put the plate back in. And it, it is it looks pretty well sealed uh, as far as you're concerned. Like, you don't think you can get out by hand unless you really, really try to rig it again. Okay. Nice. So um, the crowd kind of there, you'll die. Us, yeah. Kind of like, well, like you know, what was in there? What what was going on in there then? There's a uh, an alien creature um, keeping an eye on all the treasures, and it basically is kicking <laughs> us out. No, I, I just said well, to say fair. Uh, that's fair. Tell the story. <laughs> it's the <a> truth. <laughs> tell mm -hmm. the story. All right. So you, you tell them that. Make a performance check, Cheerless. Right. Oh, plus two. Cool. Yeah. Let's see. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. There you go. So they're you do like, like a little, uh, a little jaunt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they're like, okay, like there's something. Okay, like that. That's a hell of a story. Like really, like, do, do, <laughs> was, was this what Jarzok was trying to make here? Like these alien creatures and like eye things. Uh, yes, yes, of course, and uh, that's why if you <laughs> enter, you'll die. I just like you know take the short side of it. So what we needed, we needed to collectively put our resources into um, getting out of the main gate. I don't know. I don't know how long I can keep it in there for. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, they're they're like okay. Uh, make a make a persuasion check on that one. Okay. Can, can, can we can we act like as this hype man? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, be like so yo, Zogchen, you hear that? So Zog chains like his flavor flavor to your. Oh, and you, yeah, oh shit. Uh, talk about what? talk about my awesome oh. somersault. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Point that out. Oh, a natural twenty. All right. So yeah. There you go. Wow. Like okay, okay, yeah, sure, sure. Um, they're like, yeah, no, the 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 danger's real, and they'll like they they start like they have pickaxes and clubs, and they're kind of like, well, yeah, maybe we can help you out on the on the on the front lines there, and they seem like they're more motivated now to to help you than just try to loot the place. And I'll be like, I have these saddlebags of uh, that can fit any supplies you want to put in. So we'll all survive through so the like, desert. We don't have a whole lot of supplies, but yeah, I, I guess. Okay, like, so. all yeah, right. Whatever we have, we'll throw in. So you guys kind of arm up. You, you know, you have better gear than you, you came out with. This thing, the benefactor, though, like it, it definitely puzzles you a little bit. Do you guys want to discuss it before like you move on? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I would be telling them that uh, I'm really not a fan. It sounds like uh, it sounds like two rich guys fighting, and uh, yeah. Yeah. I just I just want to get the hell out of here. So if he gives us some gear, we cause a little chaos. We can get out. Um, now I don't know if that means he's going to be coming to collect later. I don't know. I think but, that's uh, what it means. <laughs> <laughs> And didn't he say that dwarf, yeah. he wanted to rendezvous with us or something like that? Meet yeah. 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 I mean, he, he, he wasn't give really us a place. specific or informative at all, really. It was just very vague. Mm. Um, I mean, he said as something as we, about I, being the benefactor of the world. Yeah. Yeah. The liberator yeah. of the world. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. He's definitely dipping into his own supply. Yeah, that, that's a that's <laughs> mm -hmm. fact. Uh, but he obviously is powerful enough to take down the tower and, and uh, 
calls um yeah. Z- was it Zargosh? Am I saying that right? Uh, Z- uh, Zahash is the uh, Zahash. the big one, and then this is Jarzoff. Yeah. Yeah, we Z- can yeah, always but, play along but, until it doesn't help us. Anymore. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, so far it really hasn't given us a lot of restrictions outside of cause some chaos, which again kind of coinciding with what the plan was from from the start mm-hmm. and now i got this cool magic belt yeah if i'm on the mm-hmm. other side of this this arena and pit and we're at least free on the outside maybe we'll you know we'll feel more indebted but at, as the yep. time being we're still in here we still have guards we're, you know we're Rex. Still- yeah yeah i definitely don't want to get out of one form of imprisonment and go straight into another so Let's not do that. That's that's that, that's but, a problem. Yeah, yeah we can deal with that. If and one problem at a time. Yeah. yeah. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of problem number one. Yeah. So you guys start to arm up a little bit, um, prep up. You guys have a backing now of folks. Uh, clearly, you have backing of some sort of necessary evil. We'll say, of the benefactor, whatever the hell it may be. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, it seems that like this benefactor, your, your best guess is the benefactor is responsible for this tower falling. Mm-hmm. So it has an interest in, the, in this. Mm. Yeah. Definitely a lot of questions, guys. A lot of yeah. yeah. What, have you, what, have you, what have you guys gotten yourselves into? Right. And what the it's... hell happened to Norvar? Yeah, <laughs> where is Norvar? Yeah. What's he doing? Hey guys. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so Sabota- uh, maybe he's sabotaging stuff for us. So. Hopefully, yeah. I'll, 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 hear, have, I'll, I'll hear from Dominic. He's infiltrating. He's infiltrated the uh, guards that we're about to attack. Yeah, basically, he's gonna give you nice intelligence. You know, you're gonna have yeah. to like interpret it through his non-intelligence, but you'll get his intelligence. So. <laughs> yeah. So. All right. Well, I think that's that's what I call it on that one. Then it's kind of set awesome. this up and set up some intrigue. I will adjust your character sheets as appropriate with cool gear. Um, cool. Basically, I'm going I'm to re-equip you as first level character and then give you your magic item, which will be integrated in the sheet. Um, nice. Maybe re-scan or rename. So, like, if it's like a, a cloak of protection, you'll see it named as like belt of protection or whatever it may be. So that's fine. Um, yeah. yeah, it's all the, it's all, it's all the saddlebag same. of holdings. Saddlebags of holdings. <laughs> I actually think they have though. I actually do think they're like a saddlebag holding. So yeah. Um, nice. All right, cool. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys uh, the next uh, next. Awesome. Session, so yeah. yeah. Cool.